Nigeria and Canada continue to enjoy strong bilateral relations as they build on shared values and people-to-people -people ties, which represents the fulcrum for mutual commitment. The meeting between Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in February 2020 on the margins of the 33rd African Union Summit in Addis Ababa can be described as a testament to the growing propensity for more robust bilateral engagements. The leaders deliberated on the need to expand the volume of trade between both nations. Prime Minister Trudeau, who had wrapped his team president, Nigerian-Canadian Masai Ujiri, on his entourage, tapped into President Buhari's leadership in Africa while reflecting on the challenges on the continent, even as Canada looks up to potential opportunities in Nigeria. The meeting came on the heels of a build-up from subsequent Canada-Nigeria bilateral engagements in the last few years. When I came to Canada, it occurred to me that the level of commercial activity between Nigeria and Canada is not where it should be at all. There's scope for so much more. And I immediately embarked upon a journey of trying to see how we could bring about deeper commercial ties. Initially, I traveled to different parts of the country, Toronto, Montreal, uh, Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, trying to meet with business people, associations, and telling them about the opportunities that exist in Nigeria. But what I found was a number of people who are very polite and quite engaging, but none of them really seem to know enough about Nigeria to want to make any kind of step or any kind of move. So I got together with a group of, of people, um, some Nigerian people, associates of mine, and we decided that in 2018 we needed to take Canadians to Nigeria. Uh, in, in 2018, the High Commissioner of Nigeria to Canada, Adeinka Ashekun, is a business management professional and seasoned banking and marketing practitioner. His passion for economic diplomacy stimulated the curiosity of the Canadian government and business sector to visit Nigeria for a first-hand experience of the nation, people and business opportunities. In 2018, the Governor General of Canada, Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Julie Payet, embarked on a state visit to Nigeria to explore more business opportunities. I am very pleased also that during this visit, one of our priorities will be to meet and celebrate the vibrant youth of Nigeria. Our visit is really focused on three themes and sectors that are, uh, for which Nigeria is already very rich. It's young people, it's innovative spirit, and the use of technology for advancing its prosperity and making sure that its richness and growth are for everyone. The visit was followed shortly by the Made in Nigeria Canada Investment Summit NCIS in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, declared opened by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo. I think this is just the perfect time for Canada and Nigeria to be looking at doing business together. Uh, Canada is 
it's at a point where it's really ready to go more international. A lot of Canadian industries are already going international, um, but it's a time now when they realize how important it is to diversify markets. And in Africa, things are moving along so well now. A lot of Canadian companies are already experienced in South Africa and parts of East Africa, and some in the West, but not as many as we would like to see. So I think it's a wonderful time. The event was organized by the NCIS Limited GTE, a not-for-profit and non-government organization with a mission to promote trade and investment relations between Nigeria and Canada in collaboration with the Nigeria High Commission in Ottawa. The NCIS was an eye-opener for delegates, which led to various connections and collaborations between members of the private sector in Canada and Nigeria. Before the summit, the Nigeria High Commissioner had introduced a vibrant and progressive delegation from the Nigerian private sector to the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada, PDAC, the world's premier mineral exploration and mining convention in Toronto for a more significant network in the mining sector. We've met with the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, they're arguably one of the best minting companies in the world. We've also met Barry Gold, arguably the largest gold uh, mining company in the world. We've also met the Canadian uh, Institute of Mining. They set the standards that others follow. Uh, we've also met with Bullion Matt, our partners. Meeting each and every one of them has meant that Nigeria for the first time uh, became the doyen and the bride of the PIDAC. In 2019, the Nigeria High Commission continued to build on the fallouts from the 2018 NCIS summit as they embarked on a series of road shows in Toronto, Ontario, and Calgary, Alberta, in preparation for the 2019 summit. When we look at where economic growth is coming for, for Canadians, it's, uh, it's not in the traditional uh, developed markets. The real opportunities for Canadians are to get abroad into emerging markets like Africa and particularly Nigeria. It's a, it's a huge economy with uh, lots of opportunities for Canadians in areas where we have a real comparative advantage. Mining, uh, oil and gas, agriculture are just examples. And so at Elevate Export Finance Corp, part of our job and part of our mission is really to encourage those Canadian companies to uh, spread their wings a little bit and look abroad to see where those opportunities are and to facilitate that with uh, solutions and knowledge. In November 2019, a critical mass of Canadian investors travelled to Nigeria for the NCIS 2019 summit. Good morning and welcome to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The theme for this summit is all about reaching greater heights. No question that both our governments and business communities realise that there is enormous potential in our relationship. But this summit is particularly important. We have much richer private and public sector participation than before. The focus is on mining, power, agriculture, housing, education and technology. These are sectors that Nigeria has identified as crucial to the success of our economic recovery and growth plan. And we are determined to work collaboratively with investors to create the best possible environment for business for in these sectors. And we are determined not just to ensure that we keep to the plans that we put in place, but that we encourage all of our partners to work with us.
Uh, we see the immense potential that Nigeria has to offer it in terms of a highly educated population, a highly entrepreneurial population, an engine of growth in Africa. Um, over 50, 50 tech hubs are here in, in Nigeria alone. And that creates incredible potential for partnership with Canada because we're also interested in innovation. We're trying to build a bridge between Canada and Nigeria. So we were basically laying the foundation. We've created a level of awareness and I do know that there are discussions back and forth. Um, in 2018, we were able to sign an MOU between um, Spring Fountain Infrastructure of Nigeria and Bullion Mart of Canada, which was a $1 billion MOU for the development of the gold industry. That was signed in, in um, 2018. And as you may be aware, Dukia Gold was launched in Nigeria on the 9th of June. And that's a, that's a fruit of the collaboration between a Nigerian and a Canadian um, enterprise and it's going to have a significant impact upon the development of the gold industry. The fact that there was an increase in the number of Canadians who came to Nigeria in 2019 shows that the message is beginning to resonate. I told you about a vice president from the, from the Royal Bank of Canada who came to have a meeting with us and spoke about the number and percentage of Canadian businesses doing business abroad. That meeting was brought about because she began to get inquiries from their customers about the prospects for doing business in Nigeria, especially in the mining space. One of the things that I always talk about that uh, has impressed me about Nigerians is the youth and the innovation that the young people bring with them. There's a lot of Nigerians, over 10,000 Nigerians in Canada. I have the pleasure to work with many of them at uh, Carleton University and I find them to be very creative, very innovative, uh, very resourceful uh, young, young individuals. So I've always been struck by their ability to be able to innovate, to solve real world problems uh, and they are good team players when, uh, when, when uh, is required.